tomorrow's Earth Day. And for that reason, the CBS News Miami Next Weather team is taking a hard look at climate change and the impact it's already having and will have here in South Florida. Absolutely. So this morning, Next Weather meteorologist Dave Warren shows you how climate change is impacting sea level rise. I'm meteorologist Dave Warren. Sea levels are rising a little bit each year, but stretched out over a long period of time. That is having a big impact. Robert Molita from the National Weather Service in Miami looks at the data and has this. Indeed, it has changed uh, by about three millimeters per year. Again, doesn't seem like a huge deal, but if you average that out, or if you extend that out over a course of, let's say, 50 to 100 years, we're talking almost a foot of a rate of increase over that, let's say, 100 year period. That's what the sea level data collected by the National Weather Service office in Miami shows. The rise not only occurring year over year, but it's also increasing. So something that may be, you know, a weather event that maybe 30, 40 years ago would not have caused some tidal flooding. Just that those extra few inches could make the difference between no, no flooding and some water getting up over seawalls or maybe the water, you know, groundwater seeping up a little bit higher or closer to the ground. The reality for now is that South Florida will continue to see increased impacts along the coast, inland, and even underground. Well, this is the typical setup, the road and the houses next to these canals, which force the water out to sea. That's how we get rid of these floodwaters in, along the coast and also over the interior. You get some heavy rain. Typically, you see some minor flooding in and around the areas here. There's the rain coming down. The waters rise a bit. Now, what's been happening recently is with the heavy rain and the increased sea level, uh, this drainage f does not happen as quickly as it normally would. You have less drainage because of intense rain and sea level rise. More frequent episodes of this flooding are occurring now because the canal gates remain closed for a longer period of time. So this is likely to continue here. Uh, what else is happening is underground. A number of houses here in South Florida have septic systems. This is how it should be working here. You have the septic tank and the drain field and the dry ground that uh, allows all of the pollutants to filter out. But as the sea levels rise and the water table rises, this does not work properly. And as the water tries to drain, it often pushes out the pollutants and makes its way into the local waterways. Both of these issues are being addressed. It will take a lot of time. It will take a lot of money. And if the trend continues, we'll see in more and more of these episodes here in the near future.